squid area of the triangles. Here's, remember the formula? What's the formula? It's uh, base times height divided by two. Right. Triangle area is base times height divided by two, but you could also do half of the base times the height, or you could do the base times half of the height. It's good to think about it all three ways, because sometimes one way is easier than the other. Yeah, like in this one, Noah, would you, what would you do? Yeah, if all three of them work, but he's seeing this is an even number. So his area formula is going to be the base, 1.5 times half of the height, which is 0.4. It's just quicker. It's an option, it's not a requirement. But if we did that, we're going to put the 0.4 down here. And 5 times 4 is 20. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 2 is 6. And the decimal point goes after the 6 because there's two decimal places. That's right. There's two decimal places, so it has to be 2 in. And then it would be 0.6. So it would be 0.6. So that's one way. Or if you wanted to do the other way, you could have done 1.5. 1.5. Times 0.8, and you get 5 times 8 is 40. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 4 is 12. You have to go in two decimals, and then you would have to take 1.2. Whoops, I'm having trouble keeping my being careful. And then divide that by 2, which is 0 0.6. They both work. <coughs> So the area is 0 0.6, and it's squared centimeters. So we put a centimeter with a little exponent of 2. So that, And the reason we used this and this was because when you do area, you always look for that square angle. And it either shows up in a box, or sometimes it'll just show up like if you just see you're looking for the right angle. Does that help? And then perimeter. So I'm going to shrink this up a little bit. Get a little room for perimeter. Okay, so for perimeter, you just add. That's a bad arrow. 1 1.7, 1 1.5, 0 0.8, 20, so 4.0. Line up your decimals when you add it, subtract. All right, so on this one, the base is 5.2, and the height is 2. <coughs> so what would you do, Jordan, or do you have a question? Oh, all right. You could. So the area here. We'll also put the two two because they do, right? So yeah. you could think of it then as base times the height divided by two. That would be correct. So the base is five point two. Right. And then you're taking the height, which is two, and you're dividing it by two. So that's just one. So it's just 5.2 times 1, which is just 5.2. Right, centimeters squared. Does that make sense? And the perimeter you just add them. So for perimeter, we're going to do. Yeah, 3.8. 5.2 and 2.8. Did anybody accidentally add that other 2 in for the perimeter? No, because that's not actually like the perimeter of the triangle, that's the height. Right. If you think about that word rim, perimeter 
is just the rim. This, this, and this, not the inside. So when you add those, you get 16, 8 and 8 make 16 plus 2, 18. So 1 and 3 make 4, plus 5 is 9, 11. And when you add and subtract, you line your decimals up. So 11.8 centimeters. Yes? Like, like, I'm using it to um, count, like, like, to add for anything. Just, like, count how many, like, for three, there's three sides, and then for, like, a two, there's, like, two sides. Just count how many sides, like, like, how many, um, open parts that there are. You see So, like, on the shape? Yeah. If it's a triangle, you need to add up all three like, sides. Like three, like, like three all, like each side is facing out. So there's, and there's three, there's three sides. Like uh huh. Kind of. So like if it's a quadrilateral, you would look at the outside four sides. Yeah, four yeah. outside sides. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna yeah. finish the rest of the sheet today. No. I'll